Uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio here we are going to learn how to move your azure sql database table data into no sql database like mongodb by using talent open studio so here what we are going to do here first of all we are going to create a azure sql database connection to connect my azure talent to azure sql database Second one, we are going to create a connection to connect with my NoSQL database like MongoDB in Talent. Then we are going to pull that data from Azure and show this data into Talent and then store this data into NoSQL MongoDB. So here we are going to use the following uh, Talent component like TDB input to connect with my azure sql database and pull the data from sql database table then we are going to use t log row component to display all the data sql server database table then we are going to use t mongodb output to store all the data into nosql mongodb database collection so here we have a open we have a blank job in talent and uh, now we have uh, our azure in azure we have a database like social media and there is a table like uh, talent sales so we are going to use db visualizer to connect my azure sql server database and here you can see there is a data which we are going to pull from the azure and store it into nosql db like it okay so i am in my talent open studio and going to connect a t db input component okay and first of all for tdb input component double click on it and in the basic setting it will ask the database name so you can see there are n number of databases but we are using microsoft sql server on azure so we are going to choose it then apply it okay now I have already created a connection to connect with my Azure. So in my metadata you can see I have a DB connection to connect my Azure. If I am uh, going to double click on it then you can see this is the name of the connection. If I am going to, the, going to click on next button then you can see the db type is microsoft sql server and there is a db version then string of con uh, connection you can see that there is a this is my server name and this uh, these are the login id and password then my server then the database name then the schema if i am going to check it then just click on test connection okay now our connection is working properly now finish it if you want to learn how to make a connection to connect with azure from talent you can watch our last videos on youtube so here we are back to our tdb input component here you can see we have already choose a database microsoft sql server then property type we have already a connection so we are going to choose our connection azure sql server okay now you can see after choose the connection string all the information all automatically automatically filled from the connection string now you i am going to call my table tb talent sales so just copy this and paste it you can see there is a query type i am using built-in query type
then sales and pass it select star from uh, TV talent sales okay now you can see there is a query schema so I'm just going to use it click on it okay now here you can see if I'm going to run this I'm just going to run it and you can see the data. This is the data which is coming from the edge of Okay, now I'm just going to click on open. Now you can see uh, we have a schema right now. Uh, you can see that. Okay. Now we are just pulling the schema that is my it is on the table of okay now what I need to do uh, in advanced setting if you want to add any column then you can just pass the column name so I need tlog component to show the data now you can see we have the query and we are using query type built in and guest query now we are based on the guest query we are going to generate the schema so here click on guest schema so it will generate the schema of the input and you can see these are the column which we are going to so in our t log t log row okay now we are using t log row and just connect my t db input to t log in t log row i am just going to use more table and in edit schema just click on it you can see this is the T log and this is the output okay now I am going to just execute this job right now okay now job is running so we are going to see which kind of the data is coming from the Azure so this is the data which is coming from the Azure now we are going to use my tmongo db output to store the data into mongodb so i am just going to connect my tlog to tmongodb and double click on tmongodb then it will ask the basic settings the property so we have already a repository we have already created a connection to connect my mongodb here so you can see this is the connection and these are the settings for this okay now localhost port number database name and db version and db type now check it it is connected successfully now we are going to click on finish button okay so here we are going to choose this connection okay now you can see all the settings is set from the connection string then it will ask for the collection so we are going to uh, give a new name of the collection like so we are going to call it COLL collection talent sales okay and action on data is insert you can see but we are going to use insert and we are going to check the table schema so you can see the table schema the 
schema from the T log row input and these are the schema for T MongoDB output. So click on OK button. Okay. Now we are going to our MongoDB. Here we are going we are going to show you all the data passage and our database is dbkol so we are going to use dbkol okay now we are going to show all the collection all the collections in this database so we are going to use show collections now you can see there is no collection for call underscore talent sales so here we are going to pack our talent open studio and we are going to run this job so you can see this is the map, map, uh, mapping columns and uh, there is no paint node and remove null fill so we are keeping all the fields and don't are uh, not going to remove any null fill so check on die on error now our job is ready to run so execute this job just watch it has been started ok now you can see this is the data which is showing through the TLO component and we are going to our MongoDB here we are going to use this query now you can see a new collection has been built up that is called talent sales just copy this control c and db dot control v dot show dot find to display all the columns now you can see this is the data which is coming from the azure to the talent and stored in the mongodb call talent sales collection so if i am going to find any single column then i am going to use find one now you can see it is very easy to pull the data from the azure sql server database by using talent open studio and store this data into nosql mongodb so guys please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get a alert in future whenever i am going to upload any video on the youtube thank you for watching us